Hi everyone, I'm Tim Brown. Welcome to my Apple Podcast. Today I'm going to talk about video thumbnails. And what do I mean by that? Well, if you like video files and you have a ton of them arranged somewhere in a folder on your desktop computer, you have thumbnails inside. Thumbnails reference the videos, their content, uh, and what is contained inside them. You may have the problem that I have quite often is that a lot of those thumbnails are not identifiable. They're either all black or there's some section or scene from the video that really doesn't give me a clear understanding of exactly what that video is about. Yes, of course, you have the titles, but the thumbnails really are supposed to give you that cue as to what's in there. So the question is, how do you actually fix that? And is it really complicated? Well, I'm going to answer both those questions with, yes, you can, and it's very easy. So this is what you do. If you have this problem, then you probably have a situation that looks something like this, where you have a video file thumbnail that is black or undecipherable. If you want to add a clear image that clearly represents what that video is about, you begin by taking that video file and dragging it to the QuickTime application on your Mac. When it opens, scrub through the video using the player until you find the scene that you like, that you think that best represents that video. Do a Command C or copy it. That's all you have to do. After you copy this image to the clipboard, with Command C, then close out the file and then right click or control click on that file that's in the finder window. You of course will get a menu and the menu will give you the option to click on get info. When you select that, I want you to look at the very, very top and you will notice the title of that file and adjacent to it to the left, a very tiny thumbnail with a QuickTime logo or maybe even possibly an image of the file. If you select that little tiny thumbnail, you can paste that image that's on the clipboard right into that little thumbnail space. So the way you do that is select that thumbnail, Command V or paste, and the image on that clipboard will then be added to the thumbnail that's in your finder window. And if you continue to do this, you'll have a beautiful arrangement of video thumbnails that clearly represent what your videos contain. Pretty simple solution, huh? Yeah, so try it out. It's pretty cool. My name is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in for this short tip from my Apple Podcast. Check me out next time.